yeah. talking freedom and liberation uh -huh. worldwide not just only for the nation a radical guy it's time to make changes bringing interviews and radical welcome to education. a radical podcast yeah, yeah. i'm your host jason really today marks not just another step into a new year but a pivotal moment in our collective journey through the realms of radical thought and action. This month, and more specifically, on January 26th, we're commemorating a significant milestone. A Radical Guide hits its sixth anniversary, six years of weaving through the intricate stories of resistance and nurturing a global community dedicated to the heartbeat of radical change. Together, we've forged a path of enlightenment and defiance, and today's episode is a reflection, a celebration, and a continued commitment to the spirit of rebellion and transformative thought. Let's embark on this special journey, reflecting on where we've been and envisioning where we're headed in the spirit of a relentless pursuit of a world reimagined. Let's go! When we began in 2018, we had a simple vision, a radical guide, the best place in the world for radical history, current events, books, venues, collectives, and locations where people are working to change how we live and work together. We aimed to create a directory that connected us to our history and each other so we could learn and continue building the world we envisioned. For those who have been with us since the early days, you already know the story of what sparked the action to create a radical guide. For those who are new, let me give you the backstory. Back in 2017, I was planning a trip to Paris mapping out radical locations I wanted to visit. This process involved extensive research, creating a list of locations with their addresses, names, and brief descriptions. I then plotted these on a private Google map and saved them to my phone for easy navigation. On this trip, I visited key historical sites, such as Pierre-Joseph Proudhon's grave site, the final resting place of the influential anarchist philosopher known for his declaration, property is theft. I also visited Nestor Makhno's crematory vault, a memorial to the Ukrainian anarchist revolutionary who led an insurrectionary army during the Russian Civil War, and the Communards Wall, Mur des Fédérés, a poignant symbol of resistance where many members of the Paris Commune were executed in 1871. In addition to these historically significant sites, I also explored vegan restaurants and radical bookshops like Librairie Colombo, which specialize in literature on social movements and activism. An idea struck me while standing outside Library Colombo. I thought to myself, I wish there would be a website for this. In good old DIY fashion, I thought, why wait for someone else? I could create this idea. Returning home in September 2017, I spent nights and early mornings drafting what this radical travel guide would look like. But what would I call it? During the site's development, I wrestled with a question often posed by friends. Why use the word radical for the site? Won't that scare people away? After much thought, Angela Davis's words resonated with me. Radical simply means grasping things at the root. This quote clarified my purpose, and a name was created, a radical guide. By embracing the word radical alongside the history and people featured in a radical guide, we could redefine our relationship with radicalism and build something stronger together. At the core, a radical guide is about people coming together to create a better world, and it was important to me to ensure your input would be a crucial element of this project. So I took inspiration from sites like Happy Cow and Yelp and took it a step further by allowing you to add listings to the site and share locations and stories, thus helping people globally discover the radical happenings in your area. On January 27th, 2018, a radical guide was released to the world three months after the initial idea. The response was overwhelming. In the first two weeks, a radical guide was already being discussed. The Agencia de Noticias Anarquistas, anarchist news agency in Brazil, featured us, and we conducted our first on location interview with PM Press. By March, we had 41 locations listed, and by April, The Guardian, a news agency that covers American and international news for an online global audience linked to us in an article. By September, we reached 200 radical locations worldwide, quickly growing to 400 by November. We even had the privilege of attending and documenting events like the Comparte, the art and culture of resistance and solidarity with EZLN. In our first year alone, we expanded significantly, and this growth continued over the years. 
We've supported new and established groups through consulting, fundraising, tech support, and as thought partners. We've released a radical journal, a Roku and Fire TV channel, podcasts, audiobook series, film screenings, live events, panel discussions, and even a conference, a radical gathering. We even have a theme song. Looking to the future, we recently updated our mission and vision, refining our focus, our new vision, to become a global resource for anarchist and radical activism, fostering a well-informed, engaged, and empowered community that actively contributes to social change. Our mission, to uncover, share, and celebrate the history and ongoing contributions of anarchist and radical movements worldwide. Our expanded vision includes mapping resistance, ensuring our map remains an essential resource for radicals and activists worldwide, empowering through action. We support radical groups and projects and amplify their efforts through our platform, a radical shop, offering merchandise that reflects our vision and fuels our initiatives, educating for change. Through a radical education, our online course platform, we aim to empower learners to contribute to social change. Connecting globally, engaging with our community across multiple platforms, valuing your voice. We welcome your topics, locations, movements, and suggestions for our journey. To support these goals, we've launched a Patreon. Let's take a moment to thank our current Patreon supporters. A big thanks to Juniper for being a radical supporter, and to Tara Ingram, Fernanda Lugo, and Alfonso Saldana for being a radical influencer. Your support is greatly appreciated. Until now, I've funded a radical guide personally at about $6,000 a year. We've steered clear of ads, focusing instead on a community-supported model. Your contributions via Patreon are vital for achieving our vision and expanding our impact. As a Patreon supporter, you get to be actively involved in shaping the future of a radical guide. To learn more or become a member, please visit our Patreon page, which is linked in the description. Moving forward, we already have so much planned for 2024, two panel discussions, an anarchist sitcom in development, and a march in Chicago are already on the calendar. The details will be announced soon. As we draw this episode to a close, I want to take a moment to reflect on the journey we've shared, from the humble beginnings of a radical guide to the incredible milestones we've reached together. It's been a journey fueled by passion, community, and a shared vision for a more equitable world. Our collective effort has turned this project into a beacon for radical thought and action, a platform where voices of resistance are not just heard, but amplified. Looking ahead, 2024 promises to be a year of even greater expansion and impact. With panel discussions, the exciting development of an anarchist sitcom, and a march in Chicago, we're not just marking time, we're making history. We're committed to bringing more stories, resources, and engagement opportunities to you, our global community. I want to extend my heartfelt thanks to each one of you for joining us on this journey. Whether you've been here since the beginning or are new to our community, your presence and support make all the difference. Together, we are not just observers of history. We are active participants in shaping it. Remember, a radical guide is a living, evolving project. It thrives on your contributions, your stories, and your spirit of resistance. So keep sharing and engaging and keep building this incredible community. I'm Jason Bayless, and this has been a Radical Podcast. Thank you for listening, your support, and being a part of this radical journey. Before we sign off, I want to leave you with what people have said about a radical guide over the years. Hope you enjoy them, and remember, follow ideas, not people. A radical guide, that's what this that's is. What this Highlighting is. the diverse world of resistance. While organizing with the General Strike U.S., one of the several roles I've taken has been connecting and networking with organizations and individuals who aligned with possible strike needs and strike demands. A radical guide being one of those partners since mid-2023, the resources that are offered on their website has been a necessary tool for my organizing. I've used the mapping resistance to connect with orgs and individuals in my local area. In my opinion, every organizer, revolutionary, and activist could benefit from this radical guide. Not only does this guide connect you with other radicals in your area, but you can also enroll in some progressive courses to further help you and your organizing. 
Knowledge is power, only when positively implemented into the world for the betterment of the collective and planet. A radical God is truly a one-stop shop for free thinkers in need or just wanting some direction and connection. A day before the new year, in Ukraine, a bill was passed that significantly transformed the country. If in 2023 the fine for sabotage and mobilization was approximately $90, it has now been increased to uh, thousands. Let me remind you that the minimum wage in Ukraine is 200. Previously, checkpoints in cities were set up to repel the Russian army, but now they will be used to issue conscription orders. As a pleasant bonus, Ukraine has again requested the extradition of guys who got refugee in Europe, forcing us to choose between war or prison. News reports indicate that Estonia has already agreed, while Germany has refused. Even having left Ukraine, I still have to fear for my life. Can a country demand protection through coercion or violence? Changing citizenship is not that simple. Usually it takes 5-10 years. All threats I receive come from Ukraine, and I don't know how to stop it. So I will fight in the way available to me. I will write about it, giving people reasons to refuse military service. I will persistently remind that the duty to the homeland is a miss. That killing remains killing, even if politician says it's okay to kill today. Thanks to platforms like uh, Radical Guide, I have support and the opportunity to spread my ideas. I'm truly grateful for this opportunity to Jason Bailey's. Anyway, it's essential to remember that the goal is not just to write a solid text. The goal is to resist. And each of you can help with that by telling a friend or like a parking lot neighbor about what is happening. On behalf of Hukbong Lumpen, we would like to thank Jason Bayless of A Radical Guide for his huge support. Through his generosity, we were able to finance a big part of the recording and production of our self-titled EP album. The said album was released on major streaming platforms such as Spotify, YouTube Music, Amazon Music, and Deezer. Again, big, big thanks to you, Jason. I want to invite you to check out our partner organization and the folks that help us produce this show, A Radical Guide. Radical Guide is a site listing tons of historical and current locations, people, and places of interest, highlighting the diverse world of resistance. They've got courses, books, zines, panels, films, and lots more to check out. Radical Guide is currently working on a campaign to document underground stories of resistance around the world. Through this campaign, a Radical Guide will seek out and partner with groups and individuals to document their work and share their stories through video. They'll work with groups who produce live events, such as anarchist book fairs, panel discussions, and so much more, to help them record their events and broadcast them live to an audience who can't be there in person. To do this, they need to upgrade their equipment, though. It's more important than ever that we're telling and sharing stories and tactics of resistance globally and not relying on corporate media to give us the information we need to liberate ourselves. It's also critical that we're able to make this kind of content virtually accessible to all. That is so important. Hello, my name is Chris from Manila, Philippines. I'm making this audio recording uh, to share uh, our space and our partnership with Radical Guide. So, I think 2018 or 2019, when Radical website are just starting, I already con contacted Jason to, to help us promote our space on their website. So, about our space, at Tico Bandido Info Shop, is an autonomous community resource center, a grassroots alternative space created to spread radical consciousness. It is also a space for people who wanted to share and discuss different issues and ideas, a place in which alternative resources and information can be found easily and freely. We have a library of books and zines archives to offer different literature for research purposes and academic related projects. So when 
we open this input shop in 2010 uh, I managed to search uh, radical guide run by Jason so I communicated with him and uh, he made a video interview uh, for for the spade to be promoted on their website so since then we are still communicating to each other and radical guide help us to promote our campaign local campaign projects and initiatives here in our locality in the Philippines so please help radical guide uh, and support radical guide initiatives for uh, and the finance that they need to continue the project to support them and yes thank you this is Chris from Etico Bandido in Push Up thank you yeah talking freedom and liberation worldwide not just only for the nation a radical guy it's time to make changes bringing interviews and radical education yeah, yeah a better future what we really need not rooted in capitalism or supremacy yeah, yeah. trust you don't want to miss it we bring the truth right to you the past present and future let's go uh, a radical guy that's what this is highlighting the diverse world of resistance let's go